Hello, it's me again. It's Sunday evening. It must be Pete TV. Today I'd like to just uh, reflect for three minutes, exactly three minutes. I've set my alarm, so I better get a move on. I heard someone say the other day that Barack Obama, as he became the President of the United States, hit the ground running. This was meant to be uh, something to congratulate him for, the fact that he'd begun something quickly and with energy and with dynamism. I think it's a kind of metaphor for uh, troops being flown into war zones, coming down in parachutes and immediately starting to run as they hit the ground, ready to kill. Mm. Anyway, I'm not sure of the exact um, derivation of that metaphor, but that seems to make sense to me. I would say if you hit the ground running, you're sure to fall over, aren't you? Anyway, it puts me in mind of something I wrote a little while ago for the college magazine. I'd just like to read it to you. I'll stop when the alarm goes off, and then it's up to you to write some kind of response. Here we go. It's called Get to the Point. So it's about kind of speed and aggression and not mucking around and taking your time. Do you think, as a rule, that it's better to be straightforward? To get to the point, to get to the bottom of things, to get down to brass tacks, avoid going round the houses. Why not call a spade a spade? I've been pondering this for a day or two, and I can't help thinking that maybe I'd rather not get straight to the point. Maybe I'd like to beat around the bush. Maybe I don't want to be that straight talker that we all know and possibly hate. Hmm. The one who tells it like it is, who doesn't mince his words, who gives it to you straight both barrels. I can't help thinking that there must be a better way. So, why am I preoccupied with this kind of straight talking just now? Well, maybe I'm feeling a bit glum, a bit fragile. And anything, or anybody, loud, or unkind, or lacking in respect, any sudden movements, any voices raised in anger, make me shiver. Make me turn from harsh words, from cold, routine indifference, and look for warmth in truly human voices, truly human smiles. Maybe it's the time of year. The nights have been drawing in. The mornings are becoming less and less welcoming. The winter blues are creeping uninvited into my room, finding me curled and crumpled, straining to ignore the mechanical prod of the bedside red-eyed monster, unwilling to take that first step into the unknown. Despite the griping alarm in my belly, I hug my knees under the duvet, my eyes tight shut. Resistance is futile, small, fragile human. We will peel you with our metal knives. We are the machine. You are the last man. Maybe I'm tired. Maybe I've just got a chill. It seems a long time since the summer. Anyway, maybe this super-fast, high-pressure, high-tech world just drives us all towards a no-nonsense, straight-to-the-point thinking, straight-to-the-point talking. This modern, practical, routine life crushes anything that is tender, anything that is truly human. Short, sharp words hurt. Short, sharp words take us a step nearer to the permanent boot in the face, a step nearer to the gas chambers. A bit grim, that, really. But do you think hitting the ground running is something to be congratulated for? Do you think straight talking, getting to the point, being practical, getting on with it, doing things quickly, doing things in the shortest time span, doing things with the directest, most straight line is the way to go? I don't. What would you argue?